After starting Creo Parametric, you will see the screen is shown here. The window pane on the left is known as the Navigator window, while the larger window in the center is an integrated web browser window. For now, we'll minimize both of these windows by clicking on the buttons located at the lower left corner of the screen. Towards the top of the screen, you will see the horizontal collection of icons that make up the command ribbon. This is the primary user interface element of the program. The content of the ribbon will change depending on what operation we are performing. Unlike some CAD programs, Creo does not have a command line interface where commands are typed in. The keyboard is primarily used to enter numeric values such as the length of an extrusion or alphanumeric data such as file names. In addition to the command ribbon, Creo will occasionally present pull-down menus similar to the file menu shown here. These operate like traditional window menus with the unavailable options being grayed out. We'll use the file menu now to open an example model. Notice that the icons in the command ribbon have changed because we have opened a model file. Selection of some options in the command ribbon, such as the extrude option, will produce prompts that are displayed in the small rectangular region below the main graphics area, which is called the message window. Brief descriptions of the executed commands and prompts that require input are displayed in this area, so you will want to keep an eye on this area of the screen. As we work with our three-dimensional models, we will be using the different buttons on the mouse to select geometry or control various viewing functions. These various mouse functions are listed in Table 1-1 of the tutorial text. One of the most heavily used mouse functions allows you to spin the model. This is done by holding down the middle mouse button while moving the mouse. You can also pan and zoom by simultaneously holding down either the shift or the control key and the middle mouse button while moving the mouse. Creo also provides extensive online help. Here we'll illustrate how the Help option can be selected from the File menu. Another way in which the Help window can be accessed is from the question mark icon shown here. See the text for other ways in which help can be accessed.